Hey guys, today I'll do a video on the stuff I got from the ones of May, June, and July. So I'll start off with this uh, Commodore 64 with the Commodore 1541 disc drive and uh, a joystick. And I'm glad to say they all work well. I actually got these for free from my uncle, so that's pretty good. Uh, something else that I got is the Xbox 360 HD DVD player. And one reason I got it is I have a netbook which doesn't have a CD drive. And it actually does work well as a just a um, external DVD drive. And finally, the last big thing, not the controller, but I got uh, an original Xbox, which is one of the systems I wanted. Now the next system I really want to get would be the um, Sega Saturn. So yeah, I got that. I also got I got uh, four controllers. Only one of them are blue. The three others are black. I also got a microphone because I got a uh, karaoke game, and I also got a remote for it. So that's pretty much it for hardware. Now it's on to games. Just set this aside. So for games, I actually got a lot of Nintendo stuff. Start off with a, a boxed uh, Rad Racer. This is actually my only boxed NES game, and I got it because I wanted at least one boxed NES game. I also got Bad Dudes. Try to stack these up uh, here. Battle Toads. Battle Toads and Double Dragon. Castlevania. Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest. I also got Dr. Mario with the, the manual. I got Dragon Warrior. Faxanadu, Fex if that's how you pronounce it. Another game I have with the manual, Galga. I also got Golf, which is probably one of the more common uh, NES games. I got Gumshoe. Kung Fu. The Legend of Zelda. I actually already own this game. The reason I wanted I got this one is because it actually looked nicer, but then when I turned it around, uh, the back was actually pretty badly damaged. But uh, still, um, I can say that my other one is a 5-screw. This is a 4 uh, th bah. I have a 5-screw. This is a 3-screw, so at least I can say uh, I have the different cart layouts. And a little rarer title is uh, RC Pro-Am 2. And as a kid, I was a real big fan of RC Pro-Am, so when I found this, I was pretty excited. Another fun game, River City Ransom. Spy Hunter. And of course, Super Mario Brothers. This is, I had this game twice before, but I never, I didn't have it with the, the cart with just Super Mario Brothers, so that's why I got this one. I also got Tetris. Werewolf, the Last Warrior. Oh. Wild Gunman, and finally, I got Yoshi. And that's all for my NES. And actually, my NES collection more than doubled. I think I have uh, tw twice plus three more games uh, than what I had before. Uh, now I'll move on to N64, which again I have a lot of games for. Uh, I'll start off with Banjo Tooie. Then, again, a game with the manual. I got uh, Diddy Kong Racing. Also, another thing I wanted to mention is I uh, put some end labels. I made myself uh, end labels for my uh, N64 games. I'll show you another one. Uh, uh, this is Mario Party, which I have the manual also. So I made myself some end labels just because uh, all my games are loose and it gets hard to try to find a game when all you have is just a gray plastic. And I didn't want to write it down in marker, and I didn't want to just put generic labels because those look like ugly. So I kind of made myself some labels like what if they would have had some. Of course, uh, they probably wouldn't have been black, the background, but I just figured uh, it fits more uniformly, and they all look uh, relatively the same if I do that. So that's that. And moving along, these aside, I got Mario Party 2. Paper Mario, 
Pokemon Snap again with the manual. Pokemon Stadium with the manual. Pokemon Stadium 2. Uh, Super Mario 64 with the manual. And finally, Super Smash Brothers with the manual. And that's pretty much... Actually, no, that's not true. I have a few more Nintendo titles. Just not as many. <laughs> uh, now I'll go to the Dreamcast. Oh, I don't have them. Right. So, uh, first I got Skies of Arcadia. Actually, I only intended to buy this game, but uh, and I actually bought this off eBay for 30 bucks. But then, with it, I got uh, Grandia 2 for free, so I guess I can't complain. That was pretty awesome. Uh, now on to, uh, I guess I'll go for DS. I just got this game, Scribble Knots. Uh, it was funny because the game alone was 20 bucks, or I could get the game alone with a carrying case for 20 bucks. Uh, it's basically like uh, it holds about what uh, nine carts, nine uh, DS games. Anyways, so I went for that instead. And Zelda for the 3DS. Sorry for the long pauses. Um, for the PS1, I got Vagrant Story, and I also got GTA 2. So now I have GTA 1, 2, 3, and uh, well, all the ones for PS2 and the one for PS3. Uh, going on to PS2 now, I only got one game, Dragon Quest VIII, Journey of the Cursed King. Uh, and okay, back to Nintendo, I have, I got Animal Crossing for the GameCube. I also got, this is actually just a demo uh, disc, and I got it for free when I bought uh, a bunch of my NES titles from an independent game store in my area. And he gave it to me for free, it was, uh, it was sealed, but I opened it, of course, I was curious. And uh, finally... Paper Mario, the, the Thousand Year Door. And uh, I'll continue with PlayStation, I guess. Uh, for PS3, I have a few games. I have uh, Shadows of the Damned, Driver San Francisco, Resident Evil 5, Borderlands, uh, Katamari Forever, Dead Space, and Dead Space 2. Uh, both Dead Space games are, I've actually just recently finished both and uh, they're actually pretty fun. I really enjoyed them. Uh, I got Fallout 3. Max Payne 3, which I actually was surprised uh, I got it for like the first week was released for 40 bucks and it's the only reason I have it or else I probably would have waited even longer. I got Infamous 2 and Rage. And uh, now, to finish off, I have uh, all the games that came with the Xbox system I got, which is uh, NHL 2005, Fusion Frenzy, Forza Motorsport, Karaoke Evolution Party, Halo 2, Sega GT 2000, which also comes with uh, Jet Set Radio, Jet Set Radio Future, ah, sorry, and uh, NHL 2K3. For Xbox 360, I got three games, but they're all from the same series. I got uh, Mass Effect, Mass Effect 2, and Mass Effect 3. Uh, Mass Effect 3. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I also got another system. It's a handheld system. I got myself a PS Vita, and I and I actually love the PS Vita very much. Uh, sadly, it doesn't have a lot of games, but the the two games I have, I do love. I got uh, Uncharted, Golden Abyss, and uh, Mod Nation Racers Road Trip. And uh, I've actually had to do a lot of uh, road trips lately, so it's been a, it's been a good pastime to while in the car. So that's the box. I also got uh, the starter kit for it. Actually, I got both of them at a discount because of where my brother works. So that's that's the only reason I got it now. Or else, again, I would have waited till it was cheaper. Uh, this came with like a, a rag to clean the screen, a case for about eight games, and uh, you had a pouch, and you also had a um, screen protector. And finally, just a few more things. I have Risk for the Sega Genesis, uh, Boxed Joust Complete with the manual and everything, which I is also my only boxed uh, Atari 2600 game, which is why I got it. And then I got a few random stuff, like I have a few random manuals. I got Excitebike, RC Pro-Am, 
Punch Out, Top Gun, Sesame Street ABC, Duck Hunt Mario Brothers, Duck Hunt Mario Brothers and World Cross Track Meet, Sesame Street 1, 2, 3, Super Mario Brothers 3, Super Mario Brothers 2, I also got an Xbox demo disc, a manual for the Super Nintendo Mouse, and a manual for Turok 2 for the Nintendo 64, and I got a Nintendo 64 box. And uh, basically all of these were just for games I already had, or an accessory I already had, but uh, yeah. Anyways, that's it for now, and I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.